can't sleep in Ohio, can't eat in Ohio, can't even go to school in Ohio. What is going on in Ohio? There's been thousands of videos of the most ridiculous things happening, with the only comment being only in Ohio. I haven't seen anything explaining this, so I guess the only way to figure out why this is happening in Ohio is to go there myself. But the demon in the box, like... Oh, what the fuck? They would get hurt. Oh, he's running. Oh, shit. Go! Only in Ohio. After a five hour flight, I'm here in Ohio. I'm not trying to only figure out why Ohio is weird for myself. I'm trying to prove it. While I'm here, I'm gonna be taking as many photos of any weird stuff I possibly can. With an iPhone? No. The government could delete the photos off my phone. I need something physical. That's where the Polaroid camera comes in. That takes physical pictures, like this. The first place we're headed to to capture pictures, I actually saw directly from a video. We're at our first weird place. It's just a field of corn statues. Like, why would anyone even come here? I'm like six foot. It was weird for sure, but it definitely wasn't proving why all the other weird stuff was happening here. Since we didn't really know where to go next, we gotta ask some people. Excuse me, have you seen anything weird in Ohio? Sure have. Everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. I'm on a freeway. I noticed that like a group of cars slow down. That means Interesting. I'm different. I'm not a follower. I'm my own leader. Like we've heard aliens are here, Bigfoot and oh, ghosts. I've heard a whole lot of wisdom from Bigfoot to really exist. Ghosts though Maybe that's are why. prevalent. In Marysville actually. Marysville. Uh, Marysville at night a lot of people say that you can hear like screams and stuff. So we headed to Marysville and the first weird place we saw there was a uh, abandoned church. It's Ohio. Can you if this broke, I would die. You don't want to get in there and like fall through. Oh. Dude, this is the coolest place. After exploring that and finding some more evidence, we stumbled across possibly one of the weirdest places in Marysville. This had to be what the lady was talking about. An actual abandoned mansion. We're about to go into this place. Apparently in like the early 1900s, there was a family killed there and people say that the ghosts haunt the mansion. It's definitely a little bit scary, but I literally need to find out why Ohio is like this. That's the sole reason I came to Ohio. We got there and it was massive. And right across from it was a fully operational, extremely large prison. So we were trying to quietly find a way in and we really just couldn't. But after about 30 minutes of searching, oh, this is our entrance. A flashlight right here. Apparently ghosts can communicate through flashlights, and since a lot of ghosts were here, I had the brilliant idea to put my flashlight in the middle of the haunted mansion. Okay, let's ask the flashlight questions. Oh, what the f If there's a spirit in here, turn off. If people die here, turn off. Turn Is off. Ohio a crazy state? This is your last chance, flashlight. Bro, don't forget, it turned on that first time though. <laughs> We're getting some real proof. We're not. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, we haven't captured anything weird. We were starting to get somewhere, though. There was a lot of supernatural stuff going around in Ohio. But there was one big issue. We were not the smartest with communicating with these spirits. But luckily, there was someone that could help us. Because one of the only witch museums in America was in Ohio. And we were headed there now. We literally just drove two hours to, like, a, a witchcraft and magic museum. I'm hoping there's some interesting stuff there. I don't have any proof of Ohio being that weird except for some corn. I'm hoping we get something here. Welcome to the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft. I'm a practicing witch. I've been practicing for about 20 years. After seeing a ton of weird stuff, we ended up finally getting some information on how to talk to these Ohio spirits. The only thing a pendulum really needs to be, for example, is it just has to be a, a heavy enough object that can swing freely. Like asking questions of the pendulum, like, are the ghosts here and stuff like that. The biggest mistake that people make when doing stuff like this, where they go wrong, is that they don't end the session formally and you don't hear anything, so you just turn it off, put it in your pocket and walk away. Don't do that. Before you do that, you say, okay, thank you. <coughs> Goodbye for now. And just as we thought we got everything we needed, she showed us one last thing. Camera's off for this part. Demon in the box. What's that? This was in the 70s. Summoned it, didn't know how to get rid of it. It was wreaking havoc in the guy's life. Captured it, his step away from the box. Leave it alone. Leave the box closed. Whatever you do. Don't open the box. This was the weirdest thing we had seen so far. This could be the reason why all the weird stuff is happening in Ohio. Is that okay if I take pictures of some stuff? No flash. Flash cool. annoys the demon awesome. in the box. I was taking pictures of stuff. Everything was going good until I accidentally took a picture of the box with the flash. 
Anything happen, anything happen. this thing up, and then your hour is gone. Hey. She was telling us to apologize to the deep. Oh, she's closing. She's locking up the shop. She's closing it because of us. We just pissed off a ghost. Hell yeah. <laughs> Things were getting weird. I was glad we were able to get some evidence, but I was really hopeful we didn't piss off that demon in a box. But anyways, before we left there, she had given us two last places to check out. The last location was apparently the most haunted place in Ohio. But before that, we went to the gates of hell. We going in there? Yeah, a long, long time ago. Like a serious? dude went in there and never came out. No higher, swag like okay, a higher. <laughs> we were capturing some decent stuff at this location, but nothing really weird was happening until Yo. we started leaving. <laughs> <laughs> this random lady started actually chasing us out of the woods. Film with me. Here's my phone. Here's my phone. Where is she? Are you guys good? You good? Bro, there's like 20 dudes behind us. What do you mean? Let's go film with Wait, dude. What? Bro, they're walking towards the car. Oh, he's running. Oh shit, Karate, what the f What the fuck? Yo, what the Bro, she came out of there like a god zombie, bro. Bro, and she was not speaking English. What the With things starting to get extremely weird, we headed to the last place to get the final evidence. All right, we just got to the place that the witch suggested to us. Which I do know another place, Hunderson. Other people didn't believe in it. Stuff would happen to them all the time, like they would get hurt. So we got this from the Magic Witch Shop. Bro, if we get a picture of this, like, upside down, Ohio is proven weird. It's like when we first got here, it didn't seem like it was that weird, and then at the end, it just slowly got weirder and weirder. We were going deep into the forest, and this, this was the chance to figure out why Ohio was like this, why all this weird stuff was happening. This was the chance to get our final evidence. I'm religious, so I believe in God and everything, but I'm trying to, I guess, talk to a spirit. Hopefully, Jesus got me. So, wait, explain how it works. Do you know how it works? Does someone want to ask a question? Bro, it is actually, like, feels like it's moving weird. I'm not even... She said it start off by saying hello to the spirits. Hello. How are you, spirits? I hope you're having a nice day. Am I tripping? Nope. <laughs> is Ohio a weird place? Then finally... I got the last piece of evidence. Can we take move if, if we can take a Polaroid of this? Dude, I think it's moving. Oh, we can. Perfect. After looking at all of the evidence, all of the proof that we captured the entire Ohio trip. All this weird stuff has, has been happening because it's, it's cursed, obviously. There's literally a demon in Ohio. No wonder weird stuff is going on. Don't go there.